Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we are going to solve the question Arithmetic Separate. This is the second question asked in the Lead Code Weekly Contest 212. The solution to the third and the fourth video has already been uploaded. Please go and watch it if you haven't watched already. So, in this problem, we will be discussing two approaches. First one will be the brute force approach and second one will be an optimized approach. So please watch the video till the end so that you can know about both the approaches. Let us start with the problem statement. A sequence of number is called arithmetic if it consists of at least two elements and the difference between every consecutive element is same. So more formally, s of i plus 1 minus s of i should be equal to s of 1 minus s of 0 for all the valid i. For example, we have been given some arithmetic progressions. Here the common difference between two consecutive terms is 1, here the common difference is 0 for every two consecutive terms. And in this case, the common difference between the first and the second term is 0, the second and the third term is 1. So this one is not an arithmetic progression. You are given an array of n integers, nums, and two arrays of m integers, l and r, representing the m range queries, where the ith query is the range ranging from l of i till r of i. Read on a list of boolean elements answer where answer i is true if the subarray between nums of l of i and nums of r of i can be arranged to form an arithmetic sequence and false otherwise. So what we have to do, we are given a range. In between these range there are some elements. We have to arrange those elements in a sorted form and if after the sort this forms an arithmetic progression we have to return true. So let us try to do exactly what we discussed. We are going to each of the query. So for int i is equal to 0, let us take m and n outside. n is the size of nums. And m is the size of l and r both. So we are going to go to each query i is smaller than m i plus plus now we are going to create a new vector this is our temporary vector and now we will run a loop j is equal to ranging from l of i j smaller than equal to r of i and j plus plus temp dot pushback nums of j after this we are going to sort this now we have all the elements in the range l of i till r of i in temp and they are not sorted so in order to find whether they form an arithmetic progression or not we have to sort them so temp dot end After this, if the size of temp is equal to 1, then we can simply push back true because the size is 1, so it is an AP. Otherwise, we are going to calculate the common difference D, which is equal to temp of 1 minus temp of 0 so this is the common difference now we are going to go to each of the elements j is equal to 1 j is smaller than temp dot size j plus plus if d is not equal to temp of j minus temp of j minus 1 then answer dot push back false and simply break now after the for loop we have to see if we have already pushed something into the answer so for that I will keep a flag f is equal to 0 now before breaking I am going to set the flag as 1 and here I will check if the flag is still 0 that means it did not break out of the loop so in that case, this is an arithmetic progression. So answer dot 
push back true and here we can simply return the answer so let us try to run this we didn't create the answer so let us first create the answer it is correct for the given test case let us now submit this and we got the correct answer so let us discuss about the space and the time complexity that is used here so the extra space used is big O of n because we are creating an auxiliary array temp so for this the extra space is big O of n now the time complexity so for this loop the complexity is big O of m but inside this we are creating an auxiliary array temp and we are sorting it so it is n log n so overall complexity is m into n log n now let us discuss a better approach to solve the same problem and for that let us go to the whiteboard let us say we have an arithmetic series 2 4 6 8 and 10 so this is between l of i till r of i so these are the numbers that we have and let us say they are not arranged so this is after arranging them before arranging the numbers were let us say 4 6 2 10 and 8 so this was the original array and this is after the sort so now this is our arithmetic progression now we know the common difference between any two elements of the series is 2 so d is equal to 2 now the first element that we have a of 0 is 2 the second element is a of 0 plus d which is equal to 2 plus 2 which is 4 the third element is a of 0 plus this is a of 1 this is a of 2 now this is a of 0 plus 2 times d which is equal to 2 plus 4 which is 6 so this is the third element the fourth element is a of 0 plus 3 times of d which is equal to 2 plus 6 which is equal to 8 and the fifth element is equal to a of 0 plus 4d which is equal to 2 plus 8 which is equal to 10 so a of n minus 1 that is the nth element is equal to a of 0 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so this is the nth element of the series we already know that how many elements are there between l of i till r of i so n we already know so these are the number of elements and if we find the smallest element which is 2 that is equal to a of 0 now we know the number of elements we know the smallest element we want to find the common difference d which we don't know so for that let us plug in the value of 10 here so 10 is equal to n minus 1 in this case n is equal to 5 and n minus 1 is 4 so 4 times d 2 plus 4 times of d so this is the equation that we get and we can solve it for d and then we will get the value of d as 10 minus 2 which is the greatest element minus smallest element divided by n minus 1 where n is the number of terms between l of i and r of i so length minus 1 basically so in this case it is 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2 so we got the value of ds2 now we know the value of the first element so the value of first element is 2 and now we know the common difference d so we can find the value of second element that is 4 in this case similarly we can find the value of third element so the first thing that we can do is we can insert all these element into an unordered set and then we can keep finding the elements first we will find 2 then we will find 2 plus d then we will find 2 plus 2d and so on so this is using unordered set the second way is to go to each of the element and see that what is the position of this element in the arithmetic series 
so let us say we are at 10 and we want to know the position of this element so the position of this element could be known by simply plugging the values 10 is equal to 2 plus this is the position multiplied by d d is equal to 2 so now 8 divided by 2 is equal to p so the position of 10 is 4 plus 1 which is the fifth position and if we go for the zero indexing this is the fourth position similarly finding the position of 6 so 6 is equal to 2 plus the position multiplied by d 6 minus 2 is 3 3 divided by 2 which is equal to d this is equal to 2 so the position of 6 is 2 if we go for the zero indexing otherwise it is 2 plus 1 for the one base indexing and similarly we can find the position of each of the element and simply create a vector of size same as the length and keep marking the position so marking true here true at this position true at this position for 10 true at this position so we will find the position of each of these element and we will mark true at each of this index finally we can traverse through this index and we can see so if any position is not marked as true in that case we will be returning false so let us try to go with the first approach that is using unordered set so what we have to do is uh, it is same till here so we don't have to create an auxiliary array we know the range and for this range we will find the smallest and the largest element so for int j is equal to L of i j is smaller than or equal to R of i j plus plus we will create an unordered set of type integer and push each of these values s dot pushback nums of j and we have to keep track of the smallest and the greatest element so int smallest is equal to int max int largest is equal to int min smallest is equal to minimum of smallest comma nums of i nums of j largest is equals to maximum of largest comma nums of j int d is equal to largest minus smallest divided by the number of elements minus one so number of elements between these so we can say r of i minus l of i plus one yeah uh, we have to do r of i minus l of i because we have to do length minus one okay so now we have d but we have we will have to check that if largest minus smallest if this thing modulo r of i minus l of i because this should be divisible then we will have to return false for this case answer dot pushback false and break out of this loop otherwise just look at each of the element and take them out from the unordered set s so, so this is the element this is the starting element that is smallest s dot find x is equal to equal to s dot end pushback 
answer dot pushback false and break so before we break we will take a flag which is equal to zero initially and when we are breaking out of this that means when we are considering this as a false case then we will make the flag as one and then we will exit and finally if flag is, e is still equal to zero that means this is in fact an arithmetic progression and we have to return true and each time we have to increment x plus equal to d where d is the common difference so finally we can return the answer let us try to run this oh yeah we have to erase this out of this uh, we have to erase this so s dot erase x and the error is in the line number 15 this is s dot insert so this statement is wrong we should not break out of the loop and over here if if you are not able to find the current element in the set then we will have to break so answer dot pushback after this we will have to break and before breaking we will set the flag as one and break out of the loop otherwise we will continue and we will keep incrementing the x and erase the element x now let us try to submit this but uh, I think there will be a problem because we are using sets so as we are using sets it will not uh, contain the duplicate elements so I think there is no case of duplicacy here let us try to create a test case alright so it is handling the uh, because we are not counting how many elements that we have already removed from s so once s is empty we are just going to return true we are not counting as to how many elements have been removed from s that is why this solution is working in some cases it might be possible that there is only one element if the common difference is zero there will be only one element inside the unordered set s and only one element will be removed even if the size of the series is five or six in this solution we are running the first for loop that is gonna take the complexity of uh, big O of m and inside this we are traversing from this range and this range could be big of n at maximum so this is big of n inside this for loop so this big of n big of n in worst case so the solution is big of m into n and the extra space that we are using here is big of n because we are inserting all the elements into an unordered set s so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel thank you